Okay, this is um, me, William, back again. As you can see, I repurposed a peanut, a peanut can to be a bird feeder. And you see all the way through to the back, opened up the back halfway. And as you can see, put bird seed on the inside. They have a little stick that they can land on and walk up, take a bite, take a nip, whatever they want. And this is another can that I repurposed. As you can see, bird seed inside. And what happens is I put a little hole at the bottom because this can at the bottom was real tough. So what I had to do is I had to cut a hole in the side because it was thinner. So I cut a hole in the side and put an opening so it'll come out. And they've been having a good time at it, as you can see here. They've been here. They've been eating it. So evidently this is a good deal. Now when it rains, what I'll do is I'll just cover it up Make sure no moisture gets in there too much because then it'll start to get moldy or even start to grow, which I do not want. And this is another one. As you can see, I repurposed an egg carton tops and two cans, one can here and one can over here. And I did a peanut can also. And you can see through all of them also. And as you can see, they've been here. They left their clippings and their poop. So, it's doing good. They love it. It's the seeds they want, the food they want. And I like to supply it to them because, here's my water reservoirs. I have my harvest over here which I have to wait probably another month or so. But I have cilantro, I have cilantro. I have uh, marigold. And down here, okay, I have, this is garlic, it's coming up. Over here, I have asparagus. And this is the top of the carrot. Some carrots coming up. Some more cilantro. And a raspberry. And hopefully they, they'll make it or something. And over here, this is my watermelon. And here is my beautiful, lovely spinach. I thought it was sweet basil at first, but now I'm thinking leaning towards this spinach. And down here on the side, I have another carrot. And as you can see, I use this laundry basket here. As you can see along the sides, it's um, getting algae and so on and so forth. But what it does is it allows air to get in. So it prevents the roots from going too far to the side. So therefore it goes straight down or it just expands from the center. I think that's mainly why this uh, spinach is growing so big and so well. And of course up here, I have my celery. And this was grown from a little piece of celery stuck in the uh, worm casting and it's growing and of course on the side here more watermelon growing and lovely carrot back here growing up and I have bell peppers at the top right here now this setup here was terrific because what would happen is I would put water at the top and it would drain into this reservoir and then it drained down into the bottom. When it drained down to the bottom, I had it whereas it would come out. 
of this hose here out of the bottom here and I just use it I just use it to go into water I mean other plants so they can be watered since I had to repurpose it now of course up here some more celery cilantro cilantro over here my asparagus right here more cilantro move right along I got me some garlic coming up right here beautiful garlic coming up and I have a, a watermelon and some honeydew melon coming up and way down here in a little little spot if you can see it this right here is another potato man potatoes just love to thrive I know I'm probably gonna have to give it lots and lots and lots of water but that's okay and the funny thing about the potatoes is that if they do not see light they'll keep growing my understanding so if I had something whereas I could cover the top of that and then put either more dirt on top of it or some hay, which I was told that it would grow even more through that. And there's another birdhouse and I, they love this birdhouse. They love it, especially when I put the food out. That's another story. Okay, going down here, as you can see, over there is celery. Here, I have more carrot and cilantro, and I have a little bit right there in the corner there. I have some watermelon trying to come on up. And down here, I have a potato. I have a potato coming up right here. You see it's a lot bigger than the other one and over here some more watermelon got cilantro in here I got basil in here and I also got marigold in there and here's another potato here's another potato right here and most all these containers I got a goodwill and as you can see on the side here is air so air goes in and they come up, which is my understanding. Here's another lovely potato coming up. Right here, that's number of potato coming up, strong. Another honeydew, honeydew melon. I see a little mites biting the leaves and I probably had to spend, spray something on there. But other than that, everything looks good. And my fig tree, the fig tree, and you know that's a tree, so that's coming up real big. And way down here, if you can see it, yeah, that's it. That's another potato. And this is garlic, and this is my kiwi. I got some more cilantro. And here's my die hard. It's been through the winter and it's been through it's been through a lot. But it's been hanging in there and there it goes, growing strong. It's my honeydew. It's gotta be my honeydew. And here where I repurposed a vitamin bottle and put it in this little hanging hanging container and it's coming right on up I know it comes up as a vine so I'm expecting the watermelon to come up out of there grow down and hit the ground and then give me some big giant juicy watermelons well, that's basically it. This is my 
my harvest, my part of my self-sustaining life that I want to create for myself more and more. Uh, here's some more. Here's some more honeydew. All the way down here in the corner, if you can see it. Can you see it back there? There's honeydew melon coming up. You see the seeds? Can you see the seeds? Get a good focus on there. There it is. That's honeydew. And it's coming right on up. Well, since it's gonna to rain tomorrow, I sure like to feed them some some water, but don't wanna overwater them. Well, that's it for today. More to come. Hopefully you see me eat my big watermelon. Of course, if I, if you want something, I have plenty harvest. Anybody is welcome. Later.